Hi, I'm doing a quick video clip on some problems I've been having with the touchpad on the 12, uh, the Dell 14Z. Um, I had this laptop for about two months, it's actually my uncle's, and have had trouble with the touchpad. Um, here on the screen you'll see the touchpad. Um, I'm going to try to move. And notice that it doesn't move left to right. I'm trying to go sideways here, but it's not moving. It'll only move up and down if if it moves at all and um, sometimes it will even shake on its own see it's shaking and notice that I do not have and that even touching it and it's shaking um, a couple troubleshooting steps that we've done for this um, first thought it might be a software issue um, talk to support tech at Dell um, tried reinstalling the driver that didn't do anything. Um, it's a Synaptics driver, so I went to the Synaptics website and got the their driver that they have, um, and that did something very similar. That did not work either. Uh, uninstalled that, used the Windows driver. It also did this. Um, it's booted to a Linux um, USB stick, and in Linux it did this. So it seems to be. Uh, neither driver or software dependent. Now the the curious thing is sometimes it works fine um, so if I do something it's, it seems to make a difference um, it might work for a little while and then not um, so that's been a hard time to diagnose this, diagnose this today. Um, well today I called a tech um, support and we spent I don't know half an hour on the phone and um, he had me, okay, I'm going to actually, since I can't actually control my computer at this point, I'm going to plug in an external mouse so that I can operate it. Alright, so now I can control my computer at least, hopefully, as soon as this driver installs. Um, what he, what we had, he went into the touchpad setting and had me disable a couple zoom settings and multi-touch things. Um, and then that's what his manager suggested and that did not work. I also failed to mention they have already replaced this pad. This is a new pad or at least a refurbished one. And so we've tried the pad replacement and that did not work either. So they're hesitant to um, try to um, send, do anything else hardware for me because they've already done the pad. So they tried going to the Dell touchpad settings and disabling some of those options. And um, when that didn't work, well, I, I told them since I didn't think it would work, I'm going to cancel all this, what I should do next. And he said, um, try to do a system rest factory store. So this is a brand new factory store to Windows, and it's exhibiting the exact same uh, mouse uh, problems. So now again, I'm on my external mouse here, so I should be able to go into touchpad setting. Um, and I'll just show you a couple of my settings here. The multi-touch gestures, all these are unchecked, kind of like what, this is what they, they recommended over the phone. Um, this is unchecked. The zoom is unchecked. Um, and the touchpad settings um, I still have this touch check, but this doesn't seem to matter whether I have this on or, or not here. Um, another curious thing, we'll try right now, see if it works. I'm going to unplug this mouse here. Alright, so now, okay, my mouse pad's actually working fine. So this, uh, we'll see how long this will work, but it's, uh, let me go ahead and close this. And it's hard to tell because it's working fine. Um, and it might just work, so let me just keep talking. Sometimes I've noticed that if I do function F3, it turns it off, the pad, and then I can turn it back on. And then sometimes it will it will fix itself for a little bit and then have a problem again. So I don't quite understand that if it's a hardware issue, why it would do that. But at this point, I'm still leaning hardware. Uh, it's not the touchpad if it's been replaced. Maybe you have two bad ones. Uh, maybe it's a motherboard connection. Um, all I know is it's been kind of a frustrating process. 
and um, I'm hoping out of this that uh, well the problem needs to be resolved but hoping that either the uh, motherboard touchpad replaced or um, even better would be if they could swap out our system for a new one because this one's been a pain so this this video is more well hopefully the, the text text can see what I'm doing and what I've done and um, and help me out but also anybody else out there I'm curious to see if they have any problems with um, this is the 14z Inspiron um, if they've had trouble with this one um, or other models um, or if this, this is just an isolated event a Google search I did find one other person in a forum that seemed to have the exact same uh, issue with the up and down movement again it's working again this is why it's kind of difficult to diagnose because when it doesn't work it doesn't work um, there's times where I've tapped seem to tap it kind of hard and it seemed to work again so I, I it might be a loose connection anyways this is not so short sorry I've been a little long-winded but um, it's been a long process and hopefully this helps somebody else and at the very least helps uh, helps me uh, get this problem resolved thank you